Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Deltastic, the voice of the Meta Wrestling Network and Cyber Created Championship Wrestling. This is the Meta Wrestling Network and Cyber Created Championship Wrestling and this is another episode of Warpath. And ladies and gentlemen, huge show tonight. We have the last two qualifying matches for the Triple CW Platinum Package matchup will be incoming. We also have, um, we're going to hear from the brand new internet champion. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. We were about to kick off with a, with a rematch from Ladies First. And world champion Vanny has no idea. That Shirai Moretti was right behind her. She had no idea she was coming out to take on Simone Taylor in a rematch. And that is not to be. We're starting off with an attack here. We are starting off the show as women's champion Vanity has just been attacked from behind by Showtime Shara Moretti. Who has stated she is after gold. And Vanity fighting back now. World champion Vanity fighting back after getting attacked from behind. And these ladies are going back and forth, going back at it. And Moretti now back on top. And these women are going at it back and forth. These women are fighting it out. Moretti definitely looking to make a statement, definitely looking to make an impact here. And if she wasn't on the champion's radar, you best believe she is now. And now Vandy opening up here on Moretti. Clothesline. Vandy. Vandy getting the upper hand here after being attacked from behind. And now, Triple CW Women's Champion Vandy in full control of her attacker. And Moretti. Plans have definitely backfired if you're Showtime Shara Moretti. Form shot. That would stagger her. Right the corner. Nice reversal by the champion. Referee has lost complete control of this. He's actually just on the outside doing nothing. And Vanity. Oh, nice spin kick right to the jaw. Vanity beating the hell out of Moretti. And serves her right. Trying to attack her. Wait a minute. Moretti gets back up and levels her with a clothesline. Levels her with a clothesline. Now the referee steps in. And guys, while we sort that out, while we while we settle the dust between those two women, uh, we are about to hear from uh, Mason Gilbert, former Triple CW World Heavyweight Champion Mason Gilbert, as he's uh, requested this time. Uh, as things have not been going too well in the career of this man uh, countless amount of losses and uh, he's just he's just having a rough time at it wants to address the crowd here we'll see what he has to say we'll see what's on his mind After being defeated in that best two out of three falls, losing two falls to nothing uh, rematch in that Hell in a Cell against Scythe, had an opportunity to qualify for the Platinum Package match and was just decimated by Mythos. So this has been a little out of sorts. He does have an opportunity. He's going to be a part of that five-man match, the five-man uh, second chance match to find the, the the final spot in that matchup. He's going to get an opportunity. Like I said, he's in that last chance. He's going to get an opportunity to be on a on, on a pay-per-view show. Mason Gilbert desperately trying to 
trying to make an impact, trying to try to stay afloat here in Cyber Korea Championship Wrestling. starts the night. I don't know what that means, but trying to refocus himself. Former world champion trying to trying to refocus himself, trying to get back into trying to get back into the win, into the win column. Trying to get some momentum back. We'll see how it goes, but Gilbert has definitely been down and out as of late. Racking up the losses. No momentum. He's been, he's feeling it. Where does the former champion go from here? We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we are returned with qualifying action. That Platinum Package qualifying match that we've heard so much about. The Regal Ronald Ellis will be taking on Paul Blaze in one of the last two spots. Will be had here. Which one of these two men is going to be moving on? to that matchup and which one of the, the the losers like we said with with Mason Gilbert he has he has a second chance he has a last uh, last ditch opportunity so to speak because the losers of these qualifying matches uh, they will be put into into a five-man uh, match to determine the the sixth spot to be determined uh, of that platinum package match as well as that qualifying match we assume it'll be very soon to come because we're going to finish the qualifying uh, tonight, especially uh, while, while we're talking about it. The main event of this evening will be a rematch from Scorchfest. It's going to be Big Brian Stokes taking on David Wynn in a no holds bar match. The winner of that match will secure their spot in that platinum package matchup. As we see the Regal Ronald Ellis. Making his way down to the ring, well, making his way down from from the skies, from the heavens, from wherever. And again, one of the most absurd and ridiculous entrances that he's just going to milk and drag out. That he has a golden opportunity. He has a big, big opportunity ahead of him if he defeats. Paul Blaze here. He's going to qualify for that Platinum Package matchup. The Platinum Package, obviously, is uh, we all know how uh, the Money in the Bank thing works. Uh, it's essentially going to be that. They're going to be vying for a briefcase. The briefcase will have a title match uh, in it that they can use whenever they want for up to a year. life-changing a life-changing uh, matchup for all of these men involved and whoever gets it you got to figure if uh, let's just say let's just say one of the men that doesn't make it who, who, who didn't qualify uh, initially and has that second chance matchup wins the second chance matchup and then wins the the platinum package like for Mason Gilbert you got to believe that could be that could be the turnaround that he needs to rejuvenate his career to kickstart to get back to get back into into the winning ways to get his confidence back because we've seen right before right before the break guys the former champion was broken he is a broken man he's a shell of a man that he used to be and it is it's pretty pretty bad looking especially coming from the former the first time world champion the first ever cyber creative wrestling uh, world heavyweight champion Mason Gilbert has fell all the way from grace and thank God that entrance is over Ronald Ellis is waiting on his opponent his opponent Paul Blaze this is, should be an interesting matchup should be a hell of a matchup both of these men are very capable in the ring both of these men have very uh, unorthodox styles they can beat you a number of different ways Paul Blaze one of the best pound for pound that we have on our roster. It will be a huge opportunity for him to be able to to qualify 
into that platinum package matchup. And Paul Blaze, the crowd loves Paul Blaze. He loves him right on back. Here we go. We're, I guess we're going to kick off our first uh, our first official match. We were set to have a matchup, but uh, Moretti attacked World Cha uh, Women's Champion Vanity and that whole mess. Those two women have been separated. Bad blood is just, just spewing. We a cheap shot there from Ellis. As we get into our, our first contest here. And Ellis now. Nicely done by the regal one. Go for a kick with Mel. Nice reversal on the kick and a huge knee right to the face. Paul Blaze places that one perfectly. Trying to slow down a little bit. Couple shots to the gut from Ellis. Looks like he was going for a discus form, not to be. A huge splash in the corner misses. And Ellis, nice, beautiful DDT. Court plays. Which one of these two men will qualify for that platinum pack? Is nice standing drop kick. Ellis. He is not going to get too many people to applaud for that. This guy is a grade A D bag. But talented in the ring nonetheless. Right on that knee. Dragging him away from the ropes very smartly. Oh, stop right in the midsection from Ellis. And Ellis right now in control. One count only. Ellis right back on the offensive. He's going for a knee. Missed. Oh, nicely done. Just oof, right on the back of the head and neck from Blaze. And that was a nasty one. Blaze float over. DDT! Spiked him right on the top of the head. And Ronald Ellis felt that one. Pulling away, hooking the leg here. No count. Not even a one. Ellis. Kicks right to the leg. If it's chop. Nice combination of moves there from Ellis. Ellis once again on that arm. Taking him over and down. Ooh, headbutt. And these guys very evenly match form right to the mouth. Form right to the mouth of Ellis. Shoulder. Hooking the leg. One count only. Still very early in this matchup for both of these men. Both of these men are, uh, they can go. They're very tough. Very durable individuals. Now Paul Blaze trying to slow it down, trying to take Ellis off, off track here, trying to take him off course. That's what I was talking about with a number of different ways and now taking to the air is Paul Blaze going for an elbow and missed it. There was nobody there. And Ellis now, press slam, very impressive. Press slam, pulling away from the ropes. Very lasting days of cover there. Switch to the corner. Huge chop. Ooh, right into the midsection. So one more qualifying match to go. It will be our main event. Be that no hold bar match. Like I said, between oh nice package suplex driver thing it was not that effective. I was just able to kick out. Like I said, Brian Stokes will take on David Wynn in the main event, a no holds bar main event. That'll be a rematch from the Scorchfest pay per view. That will be our main event. Which one of those men will lock down, uh, for, definitely lock down the top spot, the last spot in that matchup? And which one will be going to that second chance? Blake Lariat. Back elbow. Nice reversal by Ellis. Ellis getting separation back in the ring here. Oh, nice boot and a cutter. Oh, wait a minute. Beautiful. Almost like a, a dragon sleeper variation. That is amazing. 
Nicely done. A reversal. Ooh, Michinoku type driving in. Oh, small package from Ellis. Got him one, two, two count only. Both men looking to qualify, looking to qualify for that platinum package. Matchup, nice neck breaker. Looking to leg one, two, two count only. Got the shoulder up that the Paul Blaze there. And Ellis is beside himself, but getting back on getting back on it. But wait a minute, nice takedown. Which one of these men will qualify? Nicely done. Oh, and a super kick right up underneath the jaw. Takes him down. Paul Blaze. Paul Blaze might be looking for that fire starter neck breaker. Like he was going for it. Not to be in a huge knee. Takes him down. Huge knee. Looking to leg away. He's got his feet on the ropes. Ref, he's got his feet on the ropes too. Two count only. Oh, and face first. That one took Ellis down. They're getting fired up now. It's Paul Blaze. Blaze club and blow. Takes him down with another. Underneath. Oh, nice kick. That one staggered him. He's got him reeling now. He's got him reeling. He's got to get back on him. A back elbow. I think that hesitation. I have did it. Oh, rolls him over again. And another super kick right to the jaw. Once again, dragging him away from the ropes. Hooking the leg here. Paul Blaze is looking to qualify. One, two, no. Two count only. And I thought Blaze was for sure going to that Platinum Package matchup. Lying in wait here. Oh, he was... I don't know what he was going for there. It looks like he was going for his, uh, a rolling kick or some sorts. It was reversed. And Ellis. Ooh, nice knee. Need him. He's got him reeling now. And Paul Blaze is knocked a little loopy and just stomping away at him. It's Ellis. Ronnie Ellis is getting fired up here. Jumps for the boot here. Oh, nicely done. Like a, a spinning a fisherman's buster type move, but Paul Blaze looked like he got him to the ropes. Close to the ropes there. This match continues. Drop kick missed. Back elbow again. He's been connecting with those elbows. Ellis has been connecting with those elbows. Blaze's brain has got to be super at this point. He's taking so many shots to the head. His shoulder. Wait a minute, Paul Blaze now. Blaze is getting fired up. It's a jawbreaker. Staggers him again and another knee right to the face. But wait a minute, Blaze no sold the crap out of that one. And just clotheslined him. Took him in the corner. And Blaze drops him right on the Oh, and the nasty stiff kick. Hooking the leg. One, two, and two count only. And what a matchup these guys are putting on. It shows you the importance of the opportunity to get put into that platinum package ladder match. what wonders it could do for both of these men who I mean you, you never know what would, would normally uh, not get that opportunity you, you never know uh, when a uh, few and far between these opportunities come you never know when yours could come and you could actually take control of your career by holding that package these two are fighting it out for that opportunity to get to that matchup and Blaze Reversal inverted DDT. Right on the head. I mean, what the hell is Ellis doing now? Ellis took the top turnbuckle pad off. I don't know if the referee just straight didn't see it, but he's gone for all right. And, oh my goodness. Right into the exposed bolt. Taking the turnbuckle pad off. Right to that exposed bolt there. Ellis with another press slam. Driving him away from the ring. Ready for the ropes, I should say. One, two. Is that going to be it? No. And no, and Paul Blee's still in this matchup. The way he's doing it again, he's taking another one off. Oh, wait, he's going for it again, and another one. Right to the exposed bolt once again. 
And now the referee notices the first one. Jeez. Nice suplex. Our referee must have the worst peripherals in the world. And again, he's just damaging his back. He's just he's just punishing him right now. Just throwing him just back first to expose bolts. Now the referee's trying to tighten one. Put one back. Still another exposed one, ref. And Ellis is in firm control of this. Taking any shortcut he can possibly get. To get the opportunity to get to that ladder match too. Two count and popping the shoulder up. It's Paul Blaze. Ronnie Ellis still trying to figure out what he's got to do to end this one. Put this one down. Blaze trying to come back here. And Paul Blaze picking him up. And what's going on here? Blaze buckle bomb. Buckle bomb. And that can't feel good on the back of Ronnie Ellis. Paul Blaze trying to figure out where he's going here. Going up top. And from the top, Frog Splash hits him. Quick cover. No. In the ropes, it looked like. Oh, man. And wait a minute. And Blaze. Blaze is going for something else here. Paul Blaze from the top. Going for the knees and no. Oh, he missed it. Both of his knees. He just crashed and burned. Crashed and burned. And Ellis. Bulldog. And what a matchup this is. Elbow drop missed. That one hurt him. Oh, he was able to. Ooh, I spiked him with the DDT. Spiked him with the DDT. And the Regal one is back in control of this matchup. And he's going back again. Going back again, exposing the turnbuckle bolt. And again. The referee. Oh, the referee gets caught up. The referee got caught up in it. And oh my goodness, it's sternum first. And Ellis is using every shortcut he could possibly get to try to take this one. DDT. And Blaze reversed it. Blaze reversed it with a DDT. He's setting him up here. Oof! Nice just roll kick. That's what he was trying to do. Just kicked his head off. Just rolled in both of the boots. Caught him right at the top of the head. Ref! 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 Come on now. In position now. One, two, and he got him. And Paul Blaze puts him down despite all his underhanded efforts. Ellis has been defeated. And Paul Blaze is moving on to that Platinum Package ladder match. What an uphill battle he had to face. And every trick in the book Ellis was trying. Near fall there. Nice neck breaker. Unable to put Blaze away after attempt and attempt and attempt. See a super kick right in the jaw. But what a matchup this, these two had. But in the end, that man right there is moving on. He is moving on to that platinum package matchup. And Paul Blaze picks up an impressive win. Blaze will be moving on. And we're going to find out who else is going to be moving on tonight in our main event. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Warpath with two teams that are jockeying for position in the division. We have the Hunters taking on Payday. A win from either one of these teams could definitely put them in position as the inner circle sits on top of the tag team division as our champions and here we go right now as you see on the left that's Frank Hunter on the right that's Mike Hunter and these two making their way down to the ring they will do battle 
and bamboozling with Jamal Rich. A payday. Tag team match in a huge, hotly contested tag team division here in Triple CW. As the Hunter Brothers are set to do battle here. Next up is going to be Payday, fan favorite team. Right there, you see Jamal Rich. And behind him is Bam Boozle. And Payday. Making their way down to the ring here. Get set for tag team action. Bamboozle there. I have no idea what he's drinking, but whatever it is, it's got to be damn good for him to be moving like that. Yeah, which one of these teams are going to pick up a win here? at the tag team champions the inner circle with the night off they got to be watching this matchup they got to be scouting potential opponents potential threats for their tag team championship and payday mixing it up here they're about to mix it up with the Hunters. Here we go. We're going to have Frank Hunter starting. And we're going to have Bamboozle starting for Payday. And here we go. Oh, inverted atomic drop to start the match off. It's not the way you want to start a match off. The Jawbreaker by Bamboozle on Hunter. And a nice monkey flip. Dragging him over. Snaps him down. And payday. Amazing chemistry with those two, but you can't count out the chemistry of the Hunters. These guys are brothers after all. What, what partner would know you better? Than your own brother. Picking him up. Oh, nasty super. It's almost a brain buster variation. Just dropped him down. And Mike Hunter is the power one of the two. He's in fantastic shape. And he is in control right now. He's trying to break the arm of Bamboozle. in control right now are the Hunters. They're stomping away. Just stomping away. It's unrelenting. Now shoot to the corner. He tags in Jamal Rich. Jamal Rich was, will be the, uh, the power one of the two. Wait a minute. Oh, down across the back. Down across the back. A clothesline, huge clothesline by Mike Hunter. Taking Rich down. Dragging away, cutting the ring off. Nice tag team wrestling. Cutting the ring off and tags in Frank Hunter now. Now Frank here. Ooh, foot right across the face. Now put the boots to him. Irish whip up and over and takes him down. And the Hunters. Ooh, Dragon School Angle. Ooh, I think he was going for a spear, but he got countered into a DDT on the outside. And the Hunters are really running away with this one right now. Payday's going to have to do something to try to get back into this one. 
right now. Hunters are all over him. He's going to town. He's beating the hell out of him. Oh, just beating the hell out of Jamal Rich. My goodness. Oh, seven here. And these guys are very, very close to getting counted out. Both of these teams. A break in the count. Breaking the count here. Didn't want to win that that way. Thought he was gonna take the count out, but he didn't. I think that little that going in and breaking the count. Oof! That slams him down. And breaking the count. Maya just gave uh gave Jamal Rich the breather that he needed. Both of these guys are just fighting on the outside here. And throws it back in the ring. Yeah, both teams back in the ring. Irish Whip cutting the ring off once again. Now a tag in. Wait a minute. Ooh, and leg drop. Nice tag team move. Payday is in trouble. Clothesline up and over. Jamal Rich took some punishment on the outside. He might need to tag in the fresher man and bamboozle. Yeah, he's going to do just that. Tag in the fresher man here. And that is going to do nothing. Huge power bomb by Mike Hunter. He, he tags out. He ate that power bomb and decided to tag out in a spear by Jamal Rich. Mike Hunter back up. These guys are going at it. Tension has been high in, 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 in tonight all, all together. The fight we started off early on between Moretti and Vanity. The last matchup, uh, the last qualifying match we had with Paul Blaze and Ronnie Ellis, those guys were going at it tooth and nail. These guys are throwing some bombs in this one here. That could be it. One, two, took him down, and he did. And that, that was it. And the Hunters with a pretty decisive victory over Payday. This might have been the biggest highlight that Payday had all matchup. Never really got much else going. The Hunters came in with a game plan and executed to perfection. Another punch there. Other than that, nothing much doing if you were Payday. And look at this here. Oof! Just took him right up and over. With a quick cover. He got the victory after that one. Two, and that was it. Now look at that impressive win by the Hunters. Able to make easy work of payday. The Hunters are looking for a payday of their own. We're going to keep on with our matchups. Next up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We're kicking off some more action here in the women's division. So we see the debuting Ina. She is making her way down to the ring. She will take on Hex here. The ever-growing roster of female talent comes in here to Cyber Creative Championship Wrestling. And Ina, we're going to see what she has to offer here. Not much is known about her. She's making her debut here tonight on Warpath. She's going to be taking on Hex, a member of the Void. The Void didn't have such a didn't have such a good night 
on the uh, last episode of Warpath. Although uh, Revenant had an impressive showing against world champion Scythe, he was not victorious. And neither was him in his qualifying matchup against Grizzly in the Platinum Package uh, qualifying matchup. He will get a second chance though. He will be uh, added into that matchup. That second chance opportunity as we see Hex, the very scary, intimidating, creepy looking Hex. He makes her way eerily down to the ring. Ugh. Look at that face in his eyes. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. His hex. Ugh. That is a that is a very disturbing look. Very disturbing image. Ugh, my word. She's uh, definitely not all there. A couple, couple screws loose. 100%. Here's Ina. Who's uh very light and vibrant and then you get Hex who's dark and demented and we're gonna start this one off with a head scissors by Hex I'm twisting at the head and neck now Ooh, nice overhead right there right to the face form shot let's go for another one not to be they lock up side headlock here by Ina Nice takedown. Very crisp. So I had like applied now by Hex. Right to the ropes. The ropes again. Up and over. Nice drop kick by Aina. Beautifully done. Beautifully executed drop kick. Nice late uh, trip there. Kick right to the back. Aina. Looking pretty impressive so far. Taken down. Might have, might have went, might have went for, uh, went for celebrating a little too soon. First whip. Drop kick right to the back. Bulldog face first. Oh, that has the knee right in the back. Of Hex. Hex is trying to find a way out of this. She's just pulling back. And again, just sinking it in. Good form. She moves stiff, just a quick one. She's very quick on her strikes. I, I will say that. That I have observed very quickly. First whip. And a monkey flip out of the corner. Hooking the leg here. One count only. And Hex right now doesn't know what hit her. It's Aina laying in some stiff shots. Oh, she just throws her up and over. Oh, well, she was going for a forearm. So another forearm shot and. Hex has been blocking those forearms. She doesn't want to get hit with another one of those strikes. A nice crucifix land. And Aina looking great here in her debut. Oh, stop right in the arm. She drags her away from any ropes. Snaps her down. Picking her up. Whoa, and she nailed that one. She landed that one. Good job in the knees. She just went for head scissors. Boot. Blocked it. Another forearm shot. She is laying those shots in. She has got hex. Beat out in a belly to belly suplex. She's got hex reeling now. Okay, 
Not at that arm. Wait a minute. She's setting her up for something. Picking her up. What is this? Oh, and a huge throw. My goodness. Huge throw. Hooking the leg here. Getting in between her and the ropes. Very smart by Aina. No. Two count only. I thought that was it. Nice ring awareness. Able to get in between Hex and the ropes. She's like he's trying to choke her out here. She's got the, got the, the wings right underneath the head and neck. And Hex. She needs to find something and she scores with that head scissors. Hex might be filling in a clothesline up and over. I ain't gonna lay it hard. But Hex, wait a minute. Hex up top. Hex up top. And jumping from the top to the outside with a fist. Just dropping the fist right from the top rope all the way to the floor. Stiff shot landed. Oof. It's a nasty shot. These women are going at it. Who would have stopped right in the arm? Another snap down. Quick hook of the leg. One, two, two count. And what a matchup this is. What a debut for Aina here. She's proven very effective with her striking. A nice corkscrew leg drop. It needs to get on her opponent. Get a wind under your belt before you start that stuff. And another bulldog. Beautifully done. Beautifully executed. Ooh, drop kick. Beautifully done. I'm going back again. Oof, just right, just knee right in the back. And again. And again, she's trying to, trying to tap her out. Oh, and a huge kick, oh my goodness. Huge kick landed. Oh, an inverted DDT by Hex. Hex climbing up to the top here. Oh, going for a cent time, missed it. Club and blow, make that two. Right to the back. Belly to belly suplex again. A huge one. Hook in the leg. One, two, and she gets her no. And Hex kicks out. And what a matchup. Aina setting up again. Aina looking to put her away. She's looking to put her away. And there's that throw again. Beautiful. It was a pump handle, overhead throw. Pulling her away from the rope is very smart. Hooking the leg, she's gonna get her this time. One, two, and she does. And a very impressive win by Aina picking up a huge victory over Hex. And what a debut if you're Aina. What a debut. Look at that. What a matchup. Both of these women were going back and forth. But never relent, never wavering. Just right back from one move to the next. Just continued her offense was Ina. There. She went for it all. That might have been it. That might have been all she wrote for Hex. Going for that senton and missing. Here's that belly to belly. It's a kick for good measure. I don't even think she needed to do that. But that belly to belly scored all of it. And there's the two. And look at that. Impressive debut for that woman right there. And we should be able to keep that momentum up. If she wrestles like like she did in this matchup here, there could be big things in the future of that young lady right there. And we're going to continue on 
or matchup here. And next up, we're set to hear from the brand new Triple CW Internet Champion. It was the it was the shock heard around the world as that man Rave debuted himself as the newest member of the Inner Circle, and then go on to defeat the undefeatable. In Lover Lavar, we haven't seen or heard from Lover Lavar since losing the Internet Championship. Let's hear what the brand new Internet Champion has to say. There's a brand new attitude from Rave. No longer fun loving. No longer, no longer uh, in it for in it for the fun and the fans. Aligning himself with the boss and the inner circle. This is a different man than when we opened our doors here. And at the next pay-per-view event, we're gonna. We're gonna have some information about that next pay-per-view event. And what role is he gonna play? What role is the Internet Championship gonna play? Obviously, we're not doing uh, we're not doing invitationals. We're not doing open challenges because he's out here cutting a promo and instead of instead of getting in the ring. And apparently, that 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 died with our former champion, Lover Lavar. As Rave out here. Telling everyone how great he is. What is with this guy now? I mean, that that I don't know if that concussion had anything to do with it. This guy is just a just a different different guy now. Lying himself with those jerks in the inner circle. And Rave just came out here to tell everyone how great he was. We're going to find out what's going on with the Internet Championship at that pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back after hearing from, from, our, form, our, well, from our current now Triple CW Internet Champion. We tried to reach out to the to the former internet champion Lover Lavar. Again, we were unsuccessful. Hopefully, we will hear from him um, in the episodes to come. And as Rave leaves, his stablemate makes his entrance to the arena. A venomous Vinny Watts is set to do battle with that man, the boss, the man in charge of recruiting Rave. To his faction, the inner circle. And Vinny Watts makes his way down to the ring. He is set for one on one action. Watts has been entangled or has been purposely trying to entangle himself with the current Triple CW World Heavyweight Champion, Scythe. You know it is all a part of the plan. He wants a world championship match. He wants to be the champion. He wants to add more gold to the stable of the Inner Circle, who now owns the Internet Championship held by Rave, held by the man we just heard from, and the Triple CW World Tag Team Championships held by Jonathan Cross, Joshua Cross, and Jimmy Reno, I should say, the Tag Team Champions. So they have some gold, and they want the biggest one of them all. Which is why that man has been in the face of the world champion. As you see, Jonathan Drake making his way down to the ring. Opponent tonight, Jonathan Drake, is set to make an impact. Always fan favorite, always exciting. Jonathan Drake is going to do battle here with not only the venomous Vinny Watts, you got to believe 
if things get heated, if things get things get to that point, then you're gonna see the boss get himself involved. He is not above that. Jonathan Drake. Except for one on one action. There's Vinny Watts here. And here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Starting off here. DDT. Float over DDT by Watts. So we start this matchup. And Vinny Watts. And then Jonathan Drake with the Irish whip. Duck under. Let's go for Enziguri. Watts off the ropes. Both men thinking the same thing. Ooh, nice cutter. Nice cutter out of nowhere by Jonathan Drake. And Drake here. Twist him up. He's got the arm. Oh! I could have pulled the shoulder right out of the side. I could have broke the arm. One or the other. Watts gets out of the ring for a quick second. Back in the ring. No! He baited him in. And Drake now showing his quickness. Oh! From right across the face and neck. Right on that rope. Drake dragging him away. Wait a minute. Look at the leg. Not even a one count. Still very early in this matchup. Pick him up. Oh, it drops him with the power bomb. Looks like he was going for a Frankensteiner. Was not to be. And Watts now. Watts just driving the elbow right in the top of the head. The boot right to the face. Stopping away at him here. One, one count. Again, still early in this matchup. Both of these men, it's going to take a lot more than that to put these guys down. Vinny Watts here. Watts like he might have been going for that Tiger Bomb. Close line. And Drake with a stiff forearm shot. Oof, a nice throw. Dumped him on that back of the head and neck. Dragging away from the ropes. Double foot stomp right in the chest. And a huge kick. Well placed. Oof. Just crowning him right in the top of the head with the elbow. Nice elbow drop into the chest here. And Vinny Watts is in some big time trouble. And Jonathan Drake now. Oh, and down again on her arm. The boss looks like that hurt his arm. And speaking of boss, he's getting involved now. Now he's jawing with Drake. He's jawing with Drake now. And that gives Watts the opening to dump him on his head. And the boss. Now the boss just grabs a freaking chair. Puts a chair in the ring. It's not a no disqualification match. Not a no holds barred match. Oh, and a huge tiger bomb. Wait a minute. Like he might be going for that high wattage knee. He's picking him up. Vinny Watts going for that knee. Going for that high wattage knee. Hook on the leg. One, two, no. And two count. And able to kick out was Drake. Count of two. That was a close one. Look at the leg. Wait a minute. Foot on the ropes. Raff, Raff. Come on. Ooh, and another cutter. Out of nowhere. That one got him. Stuns him. But wait a minute. Small package. One. One count. And Watts trying to get back on the offensive here. Huge chop. And we're giving them a receipt right back. Nice whip. Pick him up. He could lawn dart him, and he did. And Drake with the lawn dart. Right in the mouth. And then he watched. He was able to kick out. Kick away from it. Drake forearm shot. Beautiful. He go for a submission here. He's got him tangled up. He could tap him here. He's trying to tap him. Drake nicely done. 
Ooh, gut shot. Nice hip toss. Now watch John at Drake. Ooh, forearm shot. Staggering. That almost spun him around. Beautiful drop kick. Drake's got the arm. Bent it back here. He's working on that arm. Wait a minute. Go for a submission. He's going for a submission here. He could tap him. He could tap him here. And Watts. Watts could tap here. He's got him. And Watts is fighting out. And a knee right to the head. And Vinny Watts is able to fight out of that submission. You drop it right to the chest. Watts was dangerously close to tapping there. What's going to do here? Again, just trying to squeeze the life out of him. Trying to take that air. Trying to take that breath away. No, no. Submission of his own. He's pulling out of the head and the neck. The submission of his own. Slowing this one down. Trying to take the wind out of the sails of Drake. Right to the back. Now Vinny Watts punishing Jonathan Drake. Another boot. Picking him up here. He's going for another bomb. Oh, and a backbreaker. Double underhook backbreaker. Oh, he's going for it there, but he's able to counter it. Drake was able to counter it. Shot. A nice leg lariat. Get that two. And the hook and a neck breaker. And getting back into this matchup. Ooh, huge form shot. Now wait a minute. Picking him up. Oh, dumping the face first. Beautiful. Hooking the leg here. One. Two, two count only. And Watts was able to kick out the count of two. Wait a minute here. Huge super kick out of the corner. Huge super kick. That one got him. One, two, no! And Drake almost put down Vinny Watts. I thought that was it. Thought that might have been it was not to be. He caught all of that one too. Nice reversal. And Drake rallying this crowd. The crowd is behind him 100%. Clothesline up and over and down. And Drake could pull this one away. Oh, clothesline. That was a sandwich him right in between the apron. Trading shots on the outside. Back and forth these guys go. Back in the ring. Oh, and a boot right to the side head, my guy. A boot right to the side of the head. That was a big boot. Man, a huge power bomb. It drags him away. Dead center of the ring here. Could that be it? One. Two, and that's it. And I think the big boot right to the head did it. Just kicked him right across the head and dropped him with that double underhook power bomb. And that was it. And then Watts picks up a win. There's some of the action here. Is that Lawn Dart caught all of it? There were some times in this matchup where we thought Drake was able to pull up the upset, able to pull up the win. It was had him tapped out, but Watts was able to was able to fight out of it. And this one again here. Dropped him face first. Thought that might have been it. It's a near fall in itself. 
You see how close this one came. One, two, he kicked out a two. And look at this. We thought this would definitely hit right across the face. Put him down. The quick cover. One, two, and that hand was coming down and kicked out at the last possible second. And Vinny Watts continues his winning ways here in Cyber Creative Championship Wrestling. And you know, you know the champion is looking on. And Vinny Watts just came from just came from the back and court champion Scythe backstage. And Vinny Watts just came right from right from his matchup. Just came right to the back and found Scythe in the hallway. And just tried to attack him. And these guys right now are going at it. And now Scythe. A forearm shot. And these guys are brawling back and forth. And Watts. Desperately trying to get the attention of the champion. Desperately trying to gain himself an opportunity for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Scythe just with a throw there. And the champion now bouncing back from a, an attack from behind. From Watts. That seems to be the theme tonight. It's a huge shot. Make that uh, several shots. It's an ongoing theme tonight. We've seen uh, women's champion Vanity get attacked by Moretti earlier on and now we're seeing Watts attacking Scythe. It seems like uh, if you want, I guess if you, you want an opportunity you go right to the source, you go right to the champion and try to extract that opportunity and it looks like that's what these guys have been doing and Scythe back and forth with Watts, these guys are these guys are fighting it out backstage Scythe now has Watts. Oh, and just right in one of those tackle boxes. Watts went back and forth. Desperately wanting to gain an opportunity. Desperately wanting to get a championship opportunity. It's Vinny Watts. And now Scythe. Oh, right in the side of one of those boxes once again. And Scythe, the champion is making him pay for it right now. The champion is making him pay. And a power bomb. Right on the floor. Watts just had himself a, a, a matchup with Jonathan Drake. Scythe is fresh. This guy's going back and forth. Wait a minute. Scythe in one of those boxes here. Jumping off and they caught him, they caught the knee right in the top of the head. Jumping off with those tackle boxes. Oh, and this chair, still chair. And I'm beating the hell out of him now. And ladies and gentlemen, while we sort out that brawl in the back, it is our main event time. We have a no holds barred matchup rematch from Scorchfest. 2018 and this is our final qualifying matchup before we have that last chance uh, five-way match whatever that's going to be to determine the last spot the sixth spot for that platinum package ladder match uh, opportunity we're gonna have Brian Stokes taking on David Wynn here in our main event who's going to secure themselves guarantee themselves a spot in that matchup they said the loser will go to that second chance match up whatever that match type is we uh, have no idea yet we don't know when that's going to take place we have no idea uh, when when any of this stuff is going to take place we do know that um, there is a pay-per-view looming uh, for cyber creative championship wrestling that pay-per-view will be in the month of March and that pay-per-view will be entitled Apex so I'm guessing if you want to don't quote me, but if you want to, uh, you know, to make an educated guess here, I would say that all those big matches might might happen at Apex. I'm not sure. Like I said, just speculating at this point, guys. When I find out when things are finalized, guaranteed you will be the first to know. Did you see Brian Stokes making his way down to the ring for no holds bar action? Will he be the last uh, qualifier? Will he be 
uh, in that platinum package match. Him and David Wynn have had some bad blood. It all started with the change of attitude in Brian Stokes. Stokes changed his attitude, wasn't uh, his career wasn't panning out the way he wanted it to. He started started taking his liberties on on some competitors in his matches, started taking some shortcuts, started attacking, started started getting a little uh, violent, wanted to make statements. And uh, David Wentz stepped in to, to try to stop him from stop him from from attacking, stop his you know, st stop his stop his evil ways, so to speak. Uh, David Wynn was one of those men that stepped up. And here comes Wynn now. Always fan favorite David Wynn. He stepped up and wanted to put a stop to it. Said it didn't have to be this way. There's, there's other ways to make an impact. Brian Stokes did not see it that way. And they've had bad blood ever since. And which one of these men? David Wynn is fired up. We do know that the champion Scythe and Vinny Watts have been separated in the backstage after that altercation that we just witnessed. And here we go with this matchup. Oh, face first. Brian Stokes, they're early going on the offense. And this thing is no holds barred, no disqualifications, no count outs. Oh, right on the arm there. And Brian Stokes. Ooh, he eats a forearm. These guys are bad blood. Ooh, nice suplex by Stokes. Stopping away at win. A little showboat in there. Pay for it. David Wynn, one of the strongest men on the roster. Three got caught up there. Big boot. And nice. Running back suplex. And the Irish whip. Up and over and down. These guys on the outside, there will be no count outs. Anything goes. Oh, right across their apron. Face first. Oof. Huge. Oof. Just elbows. Just forearms. Forearms. Elbows. Just stiff shots. And there's his receipt. Face right across the apron. These guys are going for it. Right inside there. David Wim. Back on the offensive on the inside. Wim falls and submissions will happen inside of the ring. Anything else is legal. Snapping back. Big Brian Stokes. Oh, it's Stokes with a Larry. Back body drop. Nicely done. Well, Stokes with a kip up. Pay for it. Huge slam. Some of that power and dropping the elbow. Looking to leave. One. One count only. Kick right in the back. Let's take that. Stokes, I mean, there is something to be said by, by the, the attitude change of Brian Stokes. He has been has been a little more successful. Actually, uh, if you remember, if you have seen Scorch Fest, if not, uh, please do yourself a favor and go back and check that out. But he did pick up the win at Scorch Fest over David Wynn. It's a new focus, a new, a new attitude. And he was able to recenter and refocus himself. And he has been winning matches. Huge. Diving headbutt there, looks like. Hook in the leg, caught him one. One count. Dropping the elbows. So 
Oops, picking him up. Oh, slip. Oof. He is just rocking those shots. He is just tearing them up there. And a huge over the head. Belly to belly suplex over the top rope. And he landed hard. He landed hard. Stokes landed hard. And win. Oof. Win just took a knee right to the back of the head. Stokes looking to capitalize. Looking to come back here. He's swinging and missing. Swinging for the fences was not effective, but that snake eyes on the steel steps was. Now a dragon sleeper variation on the outside. It's not going to win the match on the outside. These guys are going at it. Ooh, high knee lift. And David Wynn. David Wynn feeling it, feeling it right now. Stokes swinging wildly. Stokes has been connecting with a lot of those shots he's been swinging so wildly. Ooh, he connected with that headbutt. He definitely connected with that headbutt. That could be it. He might be out. Two. He's out. He connected with that headbutt. He's out. And we have a qualifier. As Stokes qualifies and win. And David wins hurt. And Brian Stokes qualifies. And David win. David wins not looking too good. Wait a minute. And Brian Stokes. And come on, Stokes picks up the win. He picks up the win and he's not done. He's not done with David Wynn. Throw him right into the steps. Right into the steel steps. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back into the backstage area. Things are breaking down again. Things are breaking down again. These guys were separated. They're back. They're fighting back and forth once again. Scythe oh. and Vinny Watts. They just they they were separated, but now they <laughs> seems to be they, they found each other once again in the backstage area, and they're going back at it again. And these guys having a hard time being separated as Vinny Watts now looks to be in control in the backstage. And these guys, we have got to get this set up somehow. These tensions are building ever so fast. And there's a no doubt in my mind now that Vinny Watts is definitely, definitely occupying some headspace in the world champion site now. These guys are going back at it tooth and nail, back and forth. And again. Back and forth, these guys are fighting it out. Oh, a huge shot. And again. We're just beating the hell out of him. Oh, right across that box there. Oh, it just drops the elbow from the top. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are running out of time here. Thank you for joining us for Warpath. And ladies and gentlemen, we have got to go. Hopefully, hopefully we'll break this up somehow, some way. But, but ladies and gentlemen... This is this is it. We we have, we have got to go.